Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Words of Heart podcast. I am your host, Deanne Sanchez, and joining me in this episode is Nancy Picard. Thank you for joining me, Nancy. Thank you for having me, Deanne. Absolutely. And I have to note that your last name reminds me of Star Trek, and it is um, Star Trek Day as well. So I have to share a little bit of my nerddom for that matter, but... Anyhow, I'm so grateful that you could join us today. Um, please share with my audience a bit about yourself, your wonderful picture in the background. Who is Nancy Picard? Uh, well, I am a lot of things. I'm a master integrative life coach. I specialize on shadow work, setting healthy boundaries, healing your heart, all different modalities. And... I also have an internationally best-selling book called Bigger, Better, Braver, Conquer Your Fears, Embrace Your Courage, and Transform Your Life. So basically, I do a lot of speaking events and podcasts, and um, I coach a lot of people one-on-one on Zoom or over the phone, and I also do some group coaching. Wonderful, and I truly admire um, your book and your mission, and just quite honestly, the point that you mentioned about helping others with their voice and finding their voice and that their voice matters, I connect to that on a little bit um, from my personal experiences, which we kind of got into, but I'm going to reiterate for the sake of this recording. Um, for the first two years of my life, I couldn't hear her talk, um, which is kind of eye-opening to anyone who hears that for the first time. Um, so when it comes to finding your voice um for me it was quite literal but it was just really a huge struggle mentally physically just finding my own um self sense of self um throughout my adolescence really up until I got to eighth grade um and then I had a resurface memory as far as finding your voice um Almost, well, not almost, yeah, about almost, almost three years ago, which is when this pandemic started, um, through my diagnosis, which I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, so God, um, which I am a Christian, sort of used my diagnosis, well, as a catalyst for change, basically calling me to be a warrior for change, to use the power of my voice, so when it comes to using your voice and starting this podcast, quite honestly, is all connected and intertwined in a way. So I wasn't sure how to use my voice or what to use my voice for. So um, flash forward to two years ago of me launching this show in August 23rd, 2020, me starting this podcast was his answer to me using my voice. And not just my voice, but other people's voices, such as yours. So, yeah. Well, that's actually really interesting because I know we talked a little before, but you had a shadow belief around your voice doesn't matter. Yes. So that's a very disempowering belief. But once you overcame it, once you took it out of the shadows, and brought it into your conscious adult mind, you could actually give yourself a new empowering belief that your voice does matter and now here you are using that. So it's great. Yes. Yeah, so like great. You mentioned um as as a life coach that you help people try to overcome that particular mindset. Do you mind sharing in the time that we have um one of those tips that you think is helpful in trying to overcome that? Uh well, you know. Working with a shadow coach or actually buying my book, which, you know, I'm not trying to push my book, but I, I have internal processes in my book that will help you uncover beliefs that are in your, um, that you're not aware of. But basically, if you're going to try to do any work on your own without a coach, look to see where there's a discrepancy between what you say you want and what you're actually getting. So, for example... I say I want to be in a loving relationship, but what I'm experiencing is finding something wrong with every man so that I leave them before they can leave me. 
So in that case, somebody's trying to protect their heart is actually what they're more committed to than what they think they're committed to. So they think they're committed to being in a relationship, but what they're really committed to is staying safe, not getting hurt, and keeping a closed heart. So I say I want to lose 20 pounds, but what I'm experiencing is not exercising, finding every excuse under the sun not to exercise. So what you're really more committed to is instant gratification and not long-term gratification. You're more interested in doing what feels good in the moment and not doing what's going to bring you to the goals that you need. So that's just a really good way to look around and see where is there a discrepancy between what you say you want and what your actions are actually showing you. And then you, what your actions are showing you is actually the thing you're more committed to. It could be staying safe. It could be um, keeping the belief alive that I have to, um, I have to be perfect to be loved. Or I, so perfectionists are procrastinators because they're so afraid of doing something wrong that they end up doing nothing unless they know that they can do it really well. So look around to see what it is you you want that you're not getting and then you can try to backtrack to see what it is you are getting and change it from there i love that um words and actions do play a role as far as you saying what you want and then doing the exact opposite sort of a um i know there's an analogy somewhere but i can't find it but um I just, it does matter, um, the dec this decrepancies of which you just stated, um, because we could want and desire and need protection or safety in regards to a relationship or um, steady income, but we're somehow stuck in the mindset of what we, what's already created, and we can't seem to get out of that yet right. we want to. So it's we have fear of success or we have fear of failure, both of those things. You, and you can have fear of success and fear of failure at the same time. They both keep you stuck and not moving forward. So you have to recognize what your fear is and then say to yourself, well, I, I'm already failing if I don't even try. Right. So, you know, you, you might have a fear of looking stupid or a fear of feeling shame. Well, you should be feeling those things for not even trying, not feel those things for trying. Trying and failing is so much better than not trying at all because the failure is a stepping stone. It's just, you know, oh, okay. So that didn't work out the way I thought. What worked? What do I want to keep? And what didn't work? But at least I'm proud of myself because I stepped in and I, I moved forward. I took a step. I failed, but I failed forward. Failed forward. That I'm gonna start saying that from now on. Failed yeah. forward. Um, I can relate to that. Um, quite honestly, as likely as recently. Um, for um past couple years, I've find it insanely difficult to acquire a job, but um. I mean, my deficiencies just sort of play a role in that, but not so much that I'm an adult. Um, it just seemed impossible. And <laughs> I couldn't keep a job for more than a day or yeah, more than a day. Um, it just seemed really difficult. But then I acquired a job um, last year. I had it for about 10 months. It was in aftercare here in St. Petersburg, Florida. And it was great. I finally had a job. I had child care experience because I already I volunteered at church so I had a job that I can succeed in but then that job didn't work out so I was sort of in a bit of a funk because um I finally got a job only to lose it but um yesterday I started a new job in the same field after care so as far as failure <laughs> failure forward um in the past if I couldn't keep a job I didn't have that motivation because 
I just don't have an act for keeping jobs. But the fact that I was able to get one last year and move forward enough to last for 10 months means it is possible for me to have a job and to sort of keep it. So um, me having this new job um, gave me, not only did it help me glad the experience, but the motivation more so than ever. Because in the past, I can use the excuse that, hey, I can't keep a job. What's the point of even trying? Right. But um, yeah, I think it's that what you said, it's better to try and fail, probably fall off a board and get up than to not do anything at all. And um, I have a job again. And um, the stepping stones uh, just keep floating and moving forward in my life. Um, so yes, you have to get up and try. Um, I'm a big believer in that. And because if you don't do anything, you can't really things don't change they sort of stay stagnant yeah. in that sense that's yeah I think that people who live in their fear and have a fixed mindset versus a growth mindset they're just cutting themselves off from more opportunities more self-worth more self-confidence more self-trust more joy all of those things come from trying moving forward stepping outside your comfort zone. All of those things are what move you forward. And when you let fear rule your life, instead of using your fear as a motivating force for change, you stay stuck. I use my fear, like anything I'm afraid to do is a signal that I need to do it. Oh, I'm afraid to do that, or I don't think I'm big enough for that, or smart enough, or whatever it is, I'm too old, who knows, whatever baloney goes through my head it's a sign I have to do it because I will become the exact thing that I think I'm not yet am when I step in and I do it uh, I love this conversation and in honor of moving forward and not being cut off from tactile technology society of which this is my computer um, we're gonna get to the icebreaker segment which is my favorite part and livens up life in general. So we'll start with the icebreaker question. Um, you kind of are shooing for this question. I need to start giving authors this question when they appear on my show because it seems so easy um, for them, but I'm still going to do it. If you had to come up with a title or a chapter, see, it's easy. It can be a chapter. For where your life is at at this precise moment, what would it be? And if you can even explain it, that would be even better. Growing, growing, growing. That's the name of my chapter. I've just started a two-year um, certification with Terry Real, who's a relationship therapist. And that's taking me in a whole new level. And... It's going to be a lot of work and a lot of um, new concepts to learn. And I'm super, super excited about it. Uh, so that's my next step, my next evolution. I'm always getting new tools and trying something new. And that this is going to be my latest. So I just started a few weeks ago and I just, I love it. Congratulations. I love that title. We're all growing and evolving constantly and we should give into it instead of not giving into it um so as far as my title or chapter I kind of already gave it away but it's become my mantra and is the stepping stone or foundation for which this podcast was created from and that's basically being a warrior for change um I basically shared the highlight chapters of my life in a few short minutes with you so when it comes to being a warrior, using my voice, making sure it matters and that I matter, my audience matters first and foremost, um, I understand it fairly well. And it's just symbiotic to my own personal journey, um, a little bit of my podcast journey as well now since I've started it. So being a warrior for change really symbolizes and represents who I am now and I think moving forward. Um, this mantra 
laid on my heart in 2020. It's about to be 2023 in a few short months. I don't think this mantra is changing anytime soon. And I don't think it's supposed to. It's supposed to be in me to share with people who believe in their voice and to make sure their voice matters. So, awesome. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to try to beat the time. I've been, I've, this is this, one of the few short times I've used Zoom. So we're going to continue forward. So we'll get to this icebreaker game, which is called Song Association. You oh, know, oh, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't say it ahead of time. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a fun game. You don't have to be an avid singer. I I can see the stressness in your eyes. You no, might... I'm horrible with songs. Go ahead. I remember nothing. It's fine. Oh. You don't have to be an avid singer. You don't even have to be a world national singer. You could be a shower singer, a whistler, a, a yodeler. Many people have tried to yodel these words. You don't have to be. Uh, American Idol, the voice singer, to understand this game. Um, and here's the fun of it. Many guests fail this game, if that helps. There you go. <laughs> All you got to do is try, right? So yeah. go ahead. Yes. So how it works is you either, I give you the word, you can sing it, rap it, yodel it. It can either be in the title or in the lyrics. But I'm going to say it has to be in the lyrics because people say the title then they don't try to sing. So that kind of just defeats the point of the game. So I give you the word, you'll sing it, rap it, yodel it. And this is where it's fun. You don't have the luxury of time and neither does my computer, depending on how long this lasts. Um, you have 15 seconds from the time I give you the word to sing it, rap it, yodel it. You'll be surprised how quickly the brain turns on us in the span of this game, the brain turns against you in 15 seconds, <laughs> as you'll soon realize. So without further ado, as long as I got my timer here. Yeah, you cut out your oh. whole, I have no idea. You said something about a timer. I get a certain amount of, you're yeah. going to give me words and I try to sing them. And then you, I have a certain amount of seconds to do it. You have 15 seconds. My apologies if I cut out. So, okay. All right. So, yes, you have 15 seconds. I might give you an extra second from the time I got cut off, but I don't normally do that. So, um, if you're ready, I can give you the first word if you can still hear me. Go ahead. We'll see what it, I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but go ahead. Try. <laughs> All right. The first word is heart. Heart? Mm -hmm. Heart and soul. Do I have to sing more than that? Uh, I'm assuming that's an actual song. Um, you have to sing more than that. What? Um, oh, I'm assuming that's an actual song. Did I cut out again? Yeah, yeah, heart and soul. It's a piano thing. Uh -oh. I don't know what else there is, but heart well, and if it means, I'll, I'll give you that. I don't know. No, I, no, I believe you. I believe you in that being a song. I, I'll give you that. All right, so on to the next one. See, it's simple. All right, the next word is words. Words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You got me. It's always that second word. That second word. That I can't think of a song with words. Um. Well, this will be the part. How about of, you? Okay. You're for, uh, I didn't get any of what you just said, but this would be the part where I share an example. You're frozen. I'm frozen? Go ahead. Okay. All You're right. frozen. I'm frozen. Okay, that's just lovely. You're not frozen on my end. I don't see how I'm frozen on yours because it doesn't show frozenness on my side. I can hear you, but... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yay, technology. Uh, so I was saying this will be the part where I share an example 
of a word of which you couldn't figure out. So examples and or answers guests have given is um the song More Than Words by the band Extreme. Um, there's also the song Bird, 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 Bird's Word. I don't know who sings that. I just know it's a song. So um, see, so you, you're fine. You still have one more word. Assuming I'm not a robot on your screen. I'm making fun of my screen because I'm waving my hand. I see you. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to get through this. <laughs> All right. So the last word is shine. Shine. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's so many. Shine light, shine bright. The first star that I see tonight. That works. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that was, see, you did fine. Thank you. <laughs> I would do a bonus round, but I don't think my computer can handle that. <laughs> At least not today. Um, But thank you for doing the gang. You did great. Um, Before we wrap up here, do you have anything to share with my audience where they can find your book? Is your book going to be a movie on the moon? Give us the inside scoop as to how my audience can get in touch with you. So, well, my book is called Bigger, Better, Braver, Conquer Your Fears, Embrace Your Courage, and Transform Your Life. It's anywhere online that books are sold, Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, whatever, Goodreads. Uh, you can follow me or go to my website, which is nancypicardlifecoach.com. I do a Bigger, Better, Braver group course. I have a course on Gen Connect You for um, how to be bigger, better, braver, and set healthy boundaries and stop self-sabotage for the working woman. It's a it's a definitely just a woman's um, platform called Gen Connect You, G-E-N uh, Connect, then the letter U. And I give away a free chapter of my book. I do a free call for anybody who is interested to see if coaching is something they want just go to my website uh, nancy picard p-i-c-k-a-r-d lifecoach.com awesome thank you again for joining me nancy this was a wonderful conversation my apologies for the technical hiccups yeah. um but yeah. the essence of this podcast will live on luckily so uh, to all my audience thank you for joining me if you enjoyed this episode, if you want Nancy to do another round of the Icebreaker game, <laughs> yeah. following platforms of which to tune into this episode, you can find us on Facebook, Words of Heart Podcast. We're also on YouTube and wherever you listen to your podcast, Apple, Spotify, Google. If you're listening to it from the moon, it is Star Trek Day to all life forms and beyond. I come in peace. And I want this episode and many more to reach other regions that have yet to be discovered in the galaxy. But until then, from all of us here on Earth, I am your host, Deion Sanchez. Thank you again for joining me, Nancy Picard. And to all of my listeners and beyond in honor of Star Trek Day, stay fabulous, live long, and prosper. And until next time, bye!